Hey guys, it's Woody, and I have this fear I used this game before, but I couldn't find it, so I think I'm clear. And it always looks like I used them before to me, because I played them before, but... This video is about the Ouya, and the Ouya is a gaming console. If, for those that don't know, last year it came out on Kickstarter, and there was so much excitement about it that it became a news story in and of itself. Like, you know, every so often something on the news on Kickstarter is so successful that it becomes this really big deal. Like, the Pebble Watch comes to mind. The Ouya is another one. So, it's a console, and it's coming out at a time when I think console players are thirsting for something new. I think we all feel like our PS3s and Xbox 360s are getting a little long in the tooth, and, and then here came the Ouya. One of the things that's kind of revolutionary about the Ouya is how easy it is to develop games for it. Right now, if you're not a major gaming studio with serious backing and stuff like that, it is difficult to get on the Xbox. The tools for it are expensive. The deploy process of getting in the Xbox Arcade is very expensive. It's tricky to even write an indie game for a console platform, which is why mostly you know you don't see a lot of indie games on it. They're out there, of course, I know, but you know it's the AAAs that they get most of it done. The Ouya is going to be different. You're going to be able to develop for the Ouya as sort of hassle-free as you can a PC, right? That's why a lot of, you know, small little creative efforts pop up on the PC, because you can just write games for that and then fire up a website, you know. For a lot of hard work and about $8 in GoDaddy costs, you can have a PC game developed. But that's not true on the consoles. So the Ouya is looking to change that and turn it around. Let's get on to the specifics. March 28th is when they're supposed to ship. Right now, the factory lines and assembly lines are buzzing. It's happening. So that's kind of exciting. If it ships on March 28th, I guess I'll get it sometime at the very end of this month or at the very start of April. And I'll be sure to show it to you guys. It'll let you know what an actual Ouya gameplay looks like. <laughs> That'll be kind of a cool thing. I'll show you the whole thing. Like, I think it might come with a Netflix player. I hope it does anyway. And I'd be interested in, you know, all the stuff that... that it can do so I'll, I'll i'll show you around because i'm one of the kickstarter backers um games are coming out so they are they're like kim swift and i'm you know, who the hell is kim swift i have no idea but apparently he or she i don't know who kim is yeah that can be a guy's name sometimes um worked on portal left for dead and quantum conundrum which are all like hugely successful and clever games which you know i appreciate a lot and like I, I love call of duty but i rarely think of it as clever you know but portal on the other hand is and anyway they're coming up with a new game that kim swift and airtight games and it it's called let me look for it all right i just did a bunch of research and they're not telling us the name of the game i'm sorry about that kind of an awkward thing to do in a commentary but um anyway airtight games and kim swift are supposed to come up with something very clever a lot of these game announcements aren't release day announcements which makes me nervous that ouya has lost its momentum like it took too long for them to make it happen Along those same lines, Minority Media is releasing a new game, and I guess they wrote Popo and Yo. Maybe you guys know about that game, but it, it, it was new to me. And they're excited that the way it uses the control, it uses the touchpad and the buttons and all that stuff at the same time. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be cool or not. But I'm like, really? You're bragging about the way some game that doesn't come out for a while uses the buttons on you? I... Come on, baby, give me something to be excited about, and I'm not feeling it with this. Um, one thing that is coming out in March, I, I guess it's called The Ball, and it's supposed to be like Killing Floor or Red Orchestra 2. It, it's made by Tripwire Interactive, and it comes out in March. So I guess that's a release day title. I sure hope they're talking about March of this year. But um, <laughs> yeah, and then um, well, one last game to talk about. Uh, something coming out called Chronoblade. Uh, they're working with N Play or N Way, and it's an action RPG. So um, yeah, I don't know. They say it looks great. We'll see. Uh, they don't have a date on that one, but uh, they do have a date for shipping it, and you know that by itself is kind of exciting to me. Um, I'm trying to remember when other consoles come out. It, it feels to me like they usually have a bunch of exciting release day titles, whereas the Ouya shipping, and I'm like, wow, you know they. they are there literally no games for it? Like, none? You know, is it just going to run some, like, iPhone and Android games? Because it uses the Android operating system? I don't know, but let's keep talking because there's more to say. So, they have uh, six more games. Strange Happenings on Murder Island, Television, Bomb Ball, Whispering Willows, Pipness, 2D Cube, Zombie Platformer, and Stick Bold. I checked them all out. They're all linked in the description and you can see them. For the most part, they got me, like, anti-excited. Like, 
I started off this commentary, you know, having done my research and stuff, but not seen all these videos. And I was thinking, man, you know, it was Ouya going to have the games that, that get us excited. You know, it was such a big deal last year. And this year, eh, you know, not as much. And I watched all the games that they have coming on this thing. And it it bummed me out even more. Like, I, if I wasn't already, you know, into this thing, I don't, I don't know if I'd buy it. I, I don't. I'm worried. I will say Pitness looks cool. I could totally see playing that with a friend and, and you know, doing a dual com and complaining and laughing and whatever because you're like two guys, two spaceships attached to each other or whatever. But I will put it in the description. I'll let you see it. But, um, yeah, the Ouya is going to ship. It's going to ship this month, and I'll show it to you when it comes out. But if I were you... I wouldn't buy it uh, until, you know, I get a, I get my hands on it and do a review for you. You know, let me check it out on, on your behalf because um, based on the news that they're shipping out, it's not the sort of thing that I would just dive and do head first. It's cheap, but it's like $100 for a console. But um, wait, wait and watch the reviews before you um, you put your money into it. That's my advice for you. Well, damn, no one's going to think I did a sponsored video this time. <laughs> that was kind of harsh on them. But wait and see. Maybe it'll be good. And you just can't tell yet. But uh, here are two videos you may have missed. On the left, I talk about Painkiller Already's future. I put it in this so I could tell you guys PKA didn't actually happen last night. I wasn't feeling well. Wings wasn't feeling well. Kyle couldn't make it. And our guest fell through. And it was just like, like any one of those things, we'd have pushed on and did it anyway. But with all those things combined, yeah, I think I'd like to do one this week. Even if it's late. You know, even if we ended up doing it like a Monday end of Friday or something like that. Maybe we'll do it this weekend. But uh, it didn't happen last night, so don't look for that upload right now. And then on the right, Feedback Friday, popular series. I talk about doing a collab with FPS Russia. I talk about hope on YouTube and a bunch more stuff. So check those out and have a good day.